Now that's how we fucking do it, right? You know what's crazy about that song is that even though it was written 16 years ago, it feels like it's more relevant today than it was back then. <clears throat> Speaking of songs from before that are relevant right now, this next song has a bit of a story to it. Because when about a couple years ago, two and a half years ago, when we started to work on our last record, 13 Voices, we were, well, I was just coming out of the hospital, so I was in really, really fucking rough shape. And I knew that to get better, the only thing I could do was just write music, you know, do it, just get back out on stage and see you motherfuckers every night, because that's all we care about doing, is being on tour, on stage with the Sun 41 family all over the world. So, the only problem was, I didn't have any fucking new ideas whatsoever. I didn't have a single guitar riff, a single note, nothing written. And I didn't know what to do, so I started going through some of my old tapes, like demos. I came, yes, cassette tapes. And I came across this one cassette, and it said 2002 on it, so I put it in, I listened to it, and it was all the, the demos for Does This Look Effective? But I got to this one part, and there was a, a little bit of a song there that we didn't use, and I didn't know what it was, and I thought, holy shit, that's pretty fucking good. Why didn't we ever use that? I have no idea. So I started working on it, and it grew and grew, and it turned into a fucking song. It was the first song that we wrote for the record, and it turned into the whole album, and became our first fucking single off 13 Voices. And that song is called Fake My Own Death. Yeah. 